Okay, so exercise six, looping. The obstacle, the mushroom, and the target, the fly, need to loop back to the right of the screen once they go too far. Do this, find the code comment that says looping. So we're scrolling down through our workspace. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss it. Okay, right here, looping. If the obstacle, so there's a couple comments in here. If the obstacle has gone off the left-hand side of the screen, move it to the right-hand side of the screen. If the target has gone off the left-hand side of the screen, okay, so it's the same thing, obstacle and target. So we're going to need two if statements, okay? Put one here, and we'll put one here. Uh, add a conditional that uses the obstacle sprite x property to check whether it has moved off the screen. If it has moved off the screen, use its X property to put it back on the right side of the screen. Okay. All right. So obstacle is uh, mushroom. So if mushroom.x is less than, so we're looking at the X value. <clears throat> so this side of the screen, all the way on the edge, is about X equals zero. So we'll say if mushroom.x is um, less than negative 5, I guess we'll say. So get a sprite property for dot .x. And you know what? I think we're just going to copy and paste this. I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to copy and paste this if statement. Oh, you know what? You know what? I think what we're going to do is we're going to say if sprite.x is ne less than negative 5, we're going to set it back to, I think we started it at like 450. So now I'm going to put that in there. And now I'm going to copy and paste this. So guys, always remember a coder's best friend is copy and paste. And now I think we're just going to put mushroom, mushroom, um, what's the target? Fly. Fly. So let's see. Yep, okay, the mushroom restarted. Okay, but look, the fly, so the fly kind of is still on the screen when it resets. And so is the mushroom. So let's change the negative 5 to negative 20, we'll say. Because we want it to be completely invisible when it it um, goes, before it resets, I mean. So let's check out the mushroom. Yeah, okay, I think that's good. Okay, cool. So I think that's it for this exercise six so it says in the sample game the obstacle rotated and the health decreased when the player touched it the score increased and the fly moved back to the right of the screen when the player touched it find the code comment sprite interactions uh, sprite interactions okay read the comments if the player touches the obstacle the health goes down and the obstacle turns if the frog touches the fly, the score goes up and the fly resets. Okay, this is going to be a long exercise, I think. Create a conditional that checks whether the player sprite is touching the obstacle sprite. Okay, if is touching. Um, where is the is touching block? Okay, if. So if frog is touching obstacle is mushroom if they are touching decrease the health and change the obstacle sprite in some way so do they already create these variables oh they already created these variables for you guys keep this in mind you have to create these variables so they created it for you and they're making it very easy if they are touching decrease the health and change the obstacle sprite in some way okay so um uh, we'll have to go to variable and we'll have to say we're going to use the counter pattern. I think we're going to just do this um, health 
equals health minus five. And look, I, I didn't grab an operator block, but I typed in health minus five, and that decreased the, or that should decrease the value, and it, it added an operator is what I mean to say. Uh, if they are touching, decrease the health and change the obstacle sprite in some way. Okay, the obstacle sprite. So we'll say, you know, I'll like change the color of the mushroom. I think, oh, I guess we can't do that. Okay, so rotation. Um, Sprite.rotation, mushroom.rotation equals, oh, and here we're going to have to do a counter pattern too. And guys, look at how I'm just typing it in. Uh, plus 10. You can just type it in and it should work. So let's see if this works. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. And now yeah, game over because it keeps doing. Uh, huh. Yeah. I don't know what. Oh, because we didn't reset the. Uh, we need to reset the. Uh, the uh, mushroom back to the other side of the screen when it touches it. Okay. Okay. Something to think about. Create a conditional that checks whether the player sprite is touching the target sprite. If they are touching, increase the score and move the target back to the right of the screen. See, we got to do that. We probably should have done that for the mushroom too. But I don't know. They'll, I'm sure they'll walk us through that. Um, okay, so I am going to copy this. Um, but look, I'm about to delete something in there. Um, I don't think we need this. And we're going to need to change this to score, score, and we're going to need to change that operator to a plus, and we'll just make it one. Go back to show blocks, uh, and if it's if frog is touching, fly. And we, okay, so also we need to move the target back to the other side of the screen. So that is the x value. So fly.x will need to be fly.x will need to be 450. So whoa, there we go. Oh, 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 no, no, no. All right, there we go. Yep, and the fly restarted. Excellent. So yeah, they didn't, if they are touching, change the obstacle sprite some way. Yeah, so I don't know if I did that this wrong with the health. But I would think that you would want the mushroom to re re um reset. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe they'll fix that. Um okay, I'm I'm on exercise 8. Uh this is the scoreboard. Right now the health is displayed, but the score is not. Do this. Find the code comment scoreboard. Um, where is the scoreboard? I think it might be at the bottom. Yep. Okay. Oh, wait. No, that's not it. Scoreboard. Okay. Yeah. Add code to create a scoreboard. Run the program to test your code. So basically, we're going to copy this. And just change it to score. Put it right beneath that. Oh, okay. No, we're going to put it right under the score comment. Okay. Yeah. So instead of health, it's going to say score. And notice how this is in quotation marks, okay? That's the actual text. When you put it in this text box without quotation marks, that's referencing the variable. And that's what actually makes makes it interactive um, amongst among the program. And that's what makes it show your actual score. But notice that it's overlapping this one. So we're going to need to um, increase the Y value. Um, so that's at 30, 30. We'll put it at 60. Yeah, OK, that works. 
Okay, run the program. Okay, so we did that. So let's see what. Uh, okay, so the only problem left is solving um, the mushroom. So let me think about this. So maybe what we can do is just make the this number 10 times smaller or even 100 times smaller. But I'm, I'm going to go with 0.5 and let's see how that, that goes. Okay, so that takes 17 and a half points off. So um, let's see. Oh, whoops. So I'm going to make this hmm, 0 0.025 and let's see let's see how that goes. Okay, that takes about a point off. So let's say 0 0.3. And I mean, ideally you would have a whole number there, but I don't know how to do that. So we're going to leave it at that. Um, and that wraps up lesson 20.